First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. So I decided to do a 100,000 subscriber special and show you guys how I set up for and make my videos. Not only that, but I'm also going to have a 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And in that video, I'll do a proper thank you for getting me to this incredible milestone. But um, right now, I'm about to start making my video. Um, by the time you're watching this, the video that I'm making right now will already be uploaded. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how I set up for my videos because I am 16. I don't have a studio. I don't have like a room or an office to make my videos. I live with my parents at home and I just have my room to work in and it's pretty, um, it's a pretty limited space. So I thought I would show you how I store all of my stuff and how I set it up and make my videos in my room. So let's get started. Over here is where my closet is and that's pretty much where I keep all of my sets. So I'm going to get out the sets that I'll need in this video and move everything else out of the way. And then I also have to move these boxes. These are actually my merch, which if you haven't checked out my Etsy, we've actually lowered the shipping times and we've added more pictures of the shirts. So if you want to go check that out, definitely be sure to. So my sets are in here behind my clothes hamper and this little bin, which is where I keep all my Monster Eye clothes and accessories. So I have to move these out of the way to even get to my sets. So next, we need all the floorboards, all the wallpapers, and all the backgrounds, which are also back here. I have so many of them, so just give me a second here to get them all out. And now I can get out my lights. And they're also in my closet, believe it or not. I don't know how I managed to fit all this stuff in here, but it's working for me so far. So let's get this out. All right, and now we have to actually set up my set and I do it in this corner of my room. So first I need to pick out the floorboards I need. And the first set in this video will be the yellow room. So I find the floor I need for that room. And it's actually right here at the top. Here it is, and I just lay it on the ground. And then I take my trifold. And I come set it up over here. All right, and now we get to decorate the house with all the furniture we'll need. This is pretty fun. Um, so let's do that. All right, so now one more thing before we can actually start making the video is I have to set up the lights so you can see what I'm doing a little better. And now this is what our set's going to look like, um, and we can get all the dolls ready to shoot. Alright, so I just finished the first scene of the video, and I didn't film myself filming this scene because it was pretty short, but now I'm going to show you um, how I change out my sets because it's time for a set change, and we're done with this set for, I think, the rest of the video. We might bring it out later, but right now I have to take it apart so I can switch. <laughs> So today is a new day. I didn't film any of um, myself taking pictures yesterday, so I think I got a good half of the video done. But today I'm gonna film more behind the scenes and show you guys um, like a time lapse of me actually taking the pictures. So before I do that though, I have to change the set again. So I'm just gonna uh, show you guys me doing that and then we will get to taking the pictures. <laughs> should work and in case you haven't noticed I'm using my phone to take pictures so again not professional at all I don't even have a camera I literally use my phone so you guys you can really make a video out of anything if you try 
now I'm going to turn on music and we're going to get started. I always play Spotify um, while I'm making my videos because um, it gets boring without music. This took me about two days um, in total to take the pictures for that's about how long it normally takes me um, and now is one of maybe the worst parts and it's cleaning up and let me just show you what my room looks like real quick because it's a mess and it's a lot of work to clean up here's this corner of my room where I have my trifold set I have my boxes I have my beanbag which normally goes in the corner where I am doing my video I have my bed which has all of my poster boards on it all the floor and walls um, and then over here is where I'm actually making the video and then here's my actual closet And then I have this and all of this over here like it's everywhere We're gonna start cleaning up and I'm gonna do a time-lapse of it pretty much clean and I'm done with the video hey guys I decided I would come on here and show you um, how I am recording my voices for the video it is now Friday so it's a whole five days after I finished um, uh, taking the pictures that you saw in the last clips I started working on the voices yesterday which was Thursday and now it's Friday so um, I'm starting off in the middle of the video with the voices uh, if you're a little confused when I jump into this but yeah um, before I start, let me tell you a little bit about how I make my videos, how I edit them, and how I record voices. So I do record voices on my microphone, which is right here. A mic is one thing. If you have money to invest in something and you want to make stop motions, I would suggest investing in a mic, especially if you're going to be recording loud voices, like how I do Heath's voice and even Abby's voice sometimes. And you know, any character who yells a lot, um, it's really ideal to use a good quality mic to record the voices because it's pretty hard to listen to if you don't. So in case you haven't noticed yet, I'm editing on iMovie. I still use iMovie. Um, it is very frustrating because iMovie is not made for stop motion. It's not made to handle thousands of pictures. Like this video has 2,500 pictures. Um, so yeah, that's a lot and iMovie can't process them all and it is really slow and frustrating to work with. So I'm thinking about upgrading my program soon, but as of now, I still use iMovie. It's what I've used from the day I started my channel and I've never upgraded it since. I also don't write scripts for my videos. I record every voice as I go, like I kind of make it up as I go. When I'm taking pictures, I have a good idea of what I want to say, but you know, by the time I take pictures and by the time um, I am actually sitting down recording voices. I've forgotten, you know, kind of what I plan to say. So sometimes I'll have clips and I'm like, wait, what did I want this character to say again? But you know, I can make something up and it always works for me. I've tried to do scripts before. I've done it for a good three videos a few years ago. I did it when I used voice actors in a few videos and I just don't like it. I like doing things on my own term and that's why I like making videos my way because I can do it however I want and I don't have to rely on anyone. I just do it all by myself and that works for me and I really like doing it this way. So. Let's get started. Right now we're at the point in the video where Abby and, sorry, where Frankie and Jackson um, just wake up and they realize that they have missed their flight and that no one got them up to get on their flight. Now let's get started with the voices. Also, if you see me counting down, iMovie has a three second countdown to record the voice. So you press the voiceover button and then you wait three seconds and then you speak into the microphone and it um, transfers to the video. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Oh, 
This is so weird to me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> OMG, Jackie, wake up! Oh shoot, I kind of didn't get an idea of what I wanted to say there, so I need to record that. Sometimes these are really frustrating to record because I have to do them over and over again, especially if it's a long line. If it's a long line, I will just open my phone um, and type it up in my notes so I can just record it without um, stuttering and missing words and having to record it 10 different times because it gets really frustrating doing the same voice over and over again. All right, let me do this again. <laughs> OMG, Jackie, wake up! We missed our flight! <laughs> and then I'll play the voice back, just make sure everything's good um, before I, you know, keep it, because sometimes I will have to redo them. What? Oh no! If you see, I kind of have to make a funny voice, I mean a funny face. What? <laughs> there we go. All right, and because I don't have a script, I kind of have to say the voices out loud to hear how they're gonna sound um, before I actually talk into the microphone, so I'm just doing that now. Come on, let's get up. Okay, see, I mess up my lot. And I have to redo them. Come on, let's get up and pack and I'll schedule us for the next available flight. Thank goodness we were able to catch the next flight. I can't believe the ghouls left us behind. I don't know, that voice is kind of weird. Let me make sure I don't have to do it again. Thank goodness. Oh, it got cut off. All right, I gotta do it again. Uh, iMovie is also frustrating because sometimes it cuts off the beginning of the voice and it means I have to do it over and over again. So it's a little annoying. Thank goodness we were able to catch the next flight. I can't believe the ghouls left without us. Hey, is that Heath? Heath, what are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be on the last flight. Okay, the next line is from Heath, so you'll get to see how I do his voice. <clears throat> well, I was, but Divided Airlines decided to kick me out. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna redo that. I wanna say something different. Well, I was, but stupid divided airlines decided to kick me out, so now I had to wait for the next flight. Ugh. All right, yeah, that's how I do Heath's voice. <laughs> All right, now the next voice is from Deuce, who is not actually supposed to be Deuce in this video, but he's just supposed to be another passenger, and he comes up to Heath's seat and asks if anyone is taking the seat. Excuse me, is anyone sitting here? All right, and then this is another guy's voice, so I need to pitch it down. Excuse me. Oh God, never mind. That was that didn't sound very good, so I'm gonna do it again. <clears throat> Excuse me, is anyone sitting here? There we go. That's a little better. Um, duh. Did you not see the five thousand dollar bag sitting in it? <clears throat> Ugh. But if I see you lay a finger on that bag, you're dead meat. And yes, doing Heath's voice does hurt my throat a little bit. <laughs> hey, back off. You can take my seat, but not my armrest. Oh, can you just mind your own business? I'm trying to trek. Oh, crap. I messed it up. Hold on. Got to do that one again. Oh, could you just mind your own business? I'm trying to check Twitter here. I swear to God, if I die on this flight because of you, I will... Crap, I don't really know what I wanted to say there. I swear to God, if I die on this flight because of you... Ugh. Hey guys, I just took a quick break. I got some water now because my throat is kind of sore from all these voices. But honestly, we're almost done um, recording. I'm gonna leave the camera on while I do the last few voices. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to put that away. Well, ah, oh, crap. Uh, hold on, let me redo that. I didn't have a good idea of what to say. Hold on. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to put that away while we take off. For these last few clips, I'm gonna um, record my screen while I'm doing this so you guys can see what I'm seeing right now too because I know it might be a little confusing for me describing this. All right, so at this point, Heath has just been told to put his... Um, laptop away 
So he's going to be like, no. <clears throat> um, I don't think so. First, your stupid security throws away my $300 perfume, then I have to change flights, and now you want me to put my laptop away? I don't think so. Crap, I'm gonna have to do that again, because I said I don't think so at the beginning and the end. I want it to sound natural, and I need to do it again. Um, no way! First, your stupid security makes me throw away my $300 perfume, then you force me to change flights, and now you want me to put my laptop away too? No, crap. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. I messed up there. <sighs> okay. No way! First, your stupid security makes me throw away my $300 perfume, then you force me to change flights, and now you want me to put away my laptop? No way! Crap! Oh my god! I did it again. I have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, another time. Fourth time's a charm. <clears throat> No way! First, your stupid security makes me throw away my $300! Okay. See, it gets to the point where I do this so many times. It's insane. Also, I just realized it tells me how many voices I've done. This is the one I just did was the 250th voice in this video. So that means I've recorded over 250 voices because a lot of them I have to do over. So yeah, just to give you an idea of how long I sit here and do this. It's a little crazy. All right, let's try this line again. Hey, you're cute. Okay, go to. Never The lowest. So, yeah, it's good. I got it. I think I got it. All right, so that was the last of the voices. Um, now I just have to edit the music. I have to edit the end clips. Um, with the picture of my dolls and I have a few green screen clips to edit for this video But I don't think I think I'm gonna do that off camera just because you know, it's not that interesting um, But I will come up here and give a quick update before I end the video and when I finished editing this video